Hello, I'm Tema from the Teach to Learn Foundation, and this is the Earth Science Review Series, Station Model Edition. So, what is a station model? What all these symbols mean? Well, that's a great question. So a station model is basically a condensed little chart that shows all of the features of the weather patterns at the time in one convenient place, but in a shorthand notation. For all right, we begin our quest to decipher the station model right here in the top left corner with this number 28. So this 28 is very simple. It's actually just the degrees Fahrenheit uh, current temperature. All right. Moving on in a counterclockwise form would be the visibility in miles. So in this station model, the visibility is only about a half a mile, which is not very far at all. And that could be due to the fact that you see this little asterisk right here. Asterisk right here. This asterisk, actually, if you'll refer to your Earth Science review tables, represents that it is snowing outside. In fact, your Earth Science reference tables will be very, very helpful throughout the duration of the regions, and especially when reading station models. In fact, it's just about essential. Always make sure to check the reference tables. The station model can be found on page 13. Continuing on is the dew point, this 27 right here, which is again in degrees Fahrenheit. The dew point is the temperature at which precipitation will occur. So um, the temperature is 28 degrees Fahrenheit and the dew point is 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which explains, since they're so close, why it is snowing. To keep going, I'm going to skip over this tail and just go for the numbers right now. This 0.25 is actually 0.25 inches, and that is how much precipitation has fallen in the last six hours, where the uh, station model is um, being... This number 19 here with the uh, plus sign means actually that this number here, the barometric pressure, has been going up at a steady rate of 1.9. The decimal point is not included because of the way that the uh, station model is constructed in a shorthand formation, but actually that the barometric pressure has gone up by 1.9 um, at a steady rate for the past three hours. And as I just said, this number right here is the barometric pressure, but it's actually written in shorthand, so the real barometric pressure is 1019.6 in this case because of the shorthand that it's written in again. To convert the uh, full value to the form, the shorthand form that is found on a station model, all you have to do is move the decimal point over two places, one, two, and remove the end the resulting 10 or 9, depending on the number that you have. Now let's take a look at the non-numerical values on this chart. Okay, so to start here, we have our cloud cover. Since 75% approximately of this circle is black and only 25% is white, the blackness, the 75%, represents that it is actually a 75% cloud cover um, at the location of the station model. Last but not least is the tail with flag. The tail indicates not only wind speed, but also wind direction. You'll see that this tail indicates that the wind is blowing from the southwest, because, I mean, if it was from this part up here, it would be from the north. Over here, it would be the west, and here it would be south, so here, southwest. Almost as if you're looking at an imaginary compass. All right. Lastly, the flags on the tail indicate the wind speed. You'll see, actually, that the wind speed here, this tail, the longer tail, represents a wind speed of knots, whereas the shorter tail represents a wind speed of 5 knots, and added together, this will get you a total wind speed of 15 knots. So, to read this chart as a whole. So just by reading this chart of seemingly nonsensical numbers and shapes, we can tell that it is 28 degrees Fahrenheit outside, the visibility is a half a mile, uh, it's snowing, the dew point is 27, the wind is coming from the southwest at a speed of 15 knots, there's a 75% cloud cover, there's been 0.25 inches over the last six hours of precipitation. The barometric trend has been steadily increasing at a rate of 1.9 MB over the last three hours. And the barometric pressure is 1019.6.
Remember, all this information can be found in your Earth Science reference tables. Always trust the reference tables. They will help you very, very much in this test.